Tintle, 44, uses his links to help flog dominoes, joking, I have friends in high places. The World Cup winner, married to King Charles's niece Zara, appears with ex-teammate James Haskell in the skit. Father of three Tyndall is seen arriving at Haskell's house in a helicopter carrying a stack of pizza boxes. Haskell, 37, greets him, saying, Tins. What a boy, and in a heli too. Someone must have owed you a really big favor. Tyndall replies, standard, you know me, mate, friends in high places. I always deliver for you. Turning to camera, Haskell says, calm down. What do you need, a medal? It is a gentle dig at his friend who was teased over the three gongs he wore at Queen Elizabeth II's funeral. Tyndall, who is not a working royal, recently raised eyebrows by stating he would be on I'm a Celebrity, this year. His choice of product might surprise royal watchers given Prince Andrew's association with Pizza Express. When accused of being with Jeffrey Epstein's sex slave Virginia Jufri, 39, in 2001, Andrew, 62, claimed he was at its branch in Woking. A spokesman for Tyndall, whose pizza ad is expected to be on his and Haskell's rugby podcast, declined to comment. A few years before she married Mike Tyndall in 2011, equestrian Zara Phillips wrapped herself in a union flag to pose for a GQ Sport magazine cover which proclaimed that Britain's Olympic hope was doing it for queen and country. Inside, Her Majesty's eldest granddaughter, who would go on to win a silver medal as part of the UK eventing team at the 2012 Olympics, gave a colourful interview in which she contended that, it's far better to be known as a horse rider than a royal. To illustrate that claim, Zara revealed Shed recently turned down an opportunity which would have been lucrative, but also, given her station in life, most inappropriate. Namely, she had been approached to star in the popular ITV reality series I Am A Celebrity. Get me out of here alongside a motley selection of soap stars, glamour models, fallen pop stars, ex-politicians and the zany children's TV presenter Timmy Mallet. I mean, really. She complained, snorting with derision, fast forward to the present day and we can but marvel at how things have turned out. Blue-blooded Zara, 41, who once hooted with laughter at the absurdity of being even asked to take part in this tacky charade, now finds herself married to the next star of exactly the same vulgar TV show. How so? Yesterday, her husband, Mike, landed at Brisbane Airport in order to set up camp in the Australian outback with the likes of radio DJ Chris Moyles, Love Island star Olivia Atwood, someone from Coronation Street and a host of other celebs for hire. For several weeks, the former England rugby star's every conversation, not to mention his visits to the shower, will be filmed and broadcast to the nation. He may also be asked to eat unspeakable parts of a kangaroo, or lie in a box filled with spiders or snakes.
It's surely the most bizarre royal TV booking since it's a royal knockout, which in the 1980s saw Cliff Richard, dressed as a leak, being chased by John Travolta while Prince Andrew cheered from the sidelines. Yet Tyndall has a higher purpose, for taking part in the show, Hell be paid a reported £150,000. Moreover, Hell gained thousands of social media followers, plus a host of lucrative endorsement deals. Some have already been inked in. This week, as he prepared for IMA Celebrity, Tyndall starred in striking new advertisements for not one, but two major brands, Domino's Pizza and Amazon Prime. In the first film, he carries a stack of pizza boxes to the home of fellow England rugby veteran James Haskell. After joking that he has friends in high places, by which he presumably means the royal household, Tyndall is teased by his sidekick, who says, what do you want? A medal? This, it seems, is a topical joke alluding to Tyndall, who has never served in the armed forces, being mocked for wearing a selection of medals to the Queen's funeral. The second advert, to publicize Amazon's coverage of the Autumn Rugby Internationals, is also supposed to be a comic affair. It sees the 44-year-old father of three punch his way out of a large cardboard box, whereupon he's introduced as Zara Tyndall's husband. Again, this is supposed to be a joke, pegged to the fact that Zara, as 20th in line to the throne, is the more senior of the couple. Doubtless Tyndall was well paid. But this work broke new ground in members of the firm's tricky relationship with the grubby world of commerce. And whether his in-laws approve is another question, neither Mike nor Zara are working royals. They do not have titles and receive no public money, though Zara benefited from a trust fund set up by the Queen Mother for her great-grandchildren, so on paper are free to make money however they choose. That said, there are obvious reasons why monetizing royal connections is fraught with danger. Indeed, while other non-working members of the firm such as Sarah, Duchess of York have begrudgingly been allowed to earn a shilling via commercial endorsements, they are generally encouraged to do so overseas, and never to trade directly on their royal connections. This protocol explains the furious response two years ago to Zara's brother Peter Phillips appearing in a Chinese TV advert for Milk, in which he spoke about his upbringing at Windsor and was described in a caption as a British royal family member. Tyndall is taking things a step further, which is causing some consternation in palace circles. The king was not consulted about IMA celebrity, and certainly wouldn't have approved, is how one royal source puts it.